Hey y'all, today we're talking tomatoes. Now, I only have two different kinds of tomatoes here, and as you've probably noticed when you've gone to the grocery store, there are lots of different other kinds of tomatoes out there. We're only gonna talk about these two different kinds. It's not because you won't ever use other kinds of tomatoes, it's just because I don't have the space to have all the different kinds of tomatoes there are, and these are really good examples of what you will be using here on Paleo U. So these are little cherry tomatoes or plum tomatoes. You know, they're, they are different cherry and plum tomatoes, but they can kind of be used interchangeably when we're cooking in our recipes. So if you can't find one, the other will do. For the most part, when we use these kind of tomatoes, what we're gonna do is just slice them. That's it. Really not terribly difficult at all. Now, if I wanted to, I could quarter them, make even smaller pieces like that. I could then, cut those quarters into little tiny pieces. I don't really know how effective that would be. Or I could take these halves and just cut them in half again. If you're using pieces with cherry tomatoes or plum tomatoes, that's probably the size that you're gonna wanna use. Anyway though, as I said, most of, more often than not, it's just gonna be slicing them in half. Push all those to the side. With our bigger tomatoes, you wanna usually get rid of that piece because it can be a little tough very small slice off the top, we'll get rid of it. Now we don't have that anymore. The way I like to approach my tomato is I cut it in half, and then typically I'm gonna cut it into quarters. Maybe the recipe calls for tomatoes in quarters, so you can leave it there. If it calls for the tomato in pieces, what I would do is cut it on the sides like that, so now I have four little slices, and then cut it like this. Tomatoes can get a little tricky as they start to get soft and mushed together. They kind of, they're hard to hold. So as fewer cuts as you can make, usually the better. That's a good size for tomato pieces. Of course, you can make them smaller still if you want. If you want to sit there and struggle with it and make it smaller, you can. You could also throw them in a food processor to pulse it if you wanted to get it smaller diced. I think that's probably the best option with tomatoes personally, because as I said, because of these seeds and stuff in here and just the structure of the vegetable as you cut it, it starts to kind of break down on you and get harder and harder to cut. Anyway, this for the most part is gonna be the size of the pieces that you're gonna to wanna to use. That's it for tomatoes.